Hello guys and good morning. Today we're going to show you some speed ladder exercises that you can do with your athletes. Alexander is going to perform them and I'm going to give you some information what the drill, uh, how the drill is called, what they are for and so forth so um, that you have an understanding what you're doing and that you can emulate that with your athletes at home. Okay, here we go. First exercise we're going to do is the fast feet forward and reverse. And Alexander's going to demonstrate. So we're going to do it that you hit each leg and each square as fast as possible going through the ladder. So you're going to do that forward and you're going to do the same thing in reverse. That's good. So after you do that, you take a little break, 10, 20 seconds, and then you want to make sure you start with the other leg. So on the first time, if you started with the right leg, second time you want to start with the left leg. That's it. When you do the reverse part, make sure the upper body leans forward so that you don't fall back if you go really, really fast. Okay? That's just a quick pointer. And the exercise is very, very good for the quick step moving forward or if you have to hit an overhead, have quick feet. That's the reason why we would do this exercise. Okay, next we're going to have the lateral fast feet. So you're facing side with it, Alexander does. And same thing, you want to hit the squares really quickly. Uh, and this basically emulates the, um, your footwork when you move along the baseline. Same thing here, you can take a little break in between, and then you turn around and you do it the other way. Just make sure the hips stay square. So you always want to make sure the hips are square in one when there's no hip rotation in the movement. Uh, also, if you're a beginner, it's fine if you look down on the ground to see the squares. As a beginner, that's fine. Since in tennis, you look forward while moving, you eventually want to get to that you look, you're looking forward while you move through the speed ladder. That would be level two. For level three, would be that you move through the speed ladder looking forward or while looking at the coach tracking an object. That would be level three, the professional level, because that's what you have to do on a tennis court. You have to move, uh, you have to move forward, backward, sideways while tracking an opponent at the tennis ball. So that's what you want to eventually emulate when you do the speed ladder exercises. Okay, next one we have the jump over fast feet. We're going to do that first. So you jump, no, no. Not the slalom, the jump over fast feet. Okay, so you jump over the first square and then you move back. Well, we do it later on, a little bit slower. It's a great exercise for the first step sequence if you have to rush forward or if you play surf and volley, things of that nature. So you want to make sure you do it with the right side first. After you're done, you come back and then you do it with the left foot first. So you always want to make sure you do it on both sides so that you're equally fast in the starting sequence. That's it. Very good. You can also do these drills by holding a tennis racket because that's what you're actually doing in the sport. Of course, if you are involved with other sports where you don't hold anything in your hand, you also want to make sure that the upper body mechanics are in sync with lower body mechanics. But since in the sport of tennis, since we're holding a tennis racket, upper body mechanics become not that important, they're rather secondary. And so when you're doing the exercise, you can kind of neglect what happens with the upper body since you're holding a racket in your hand. Okay, next exercise, we're going to do the slalom. So basically it's a good thing if you set up the speed ladder in the doubles alley and you're basically moving sideways as Alexander does right here. And you want to make sure you jump over the sidelines just as a visual cue. Uh, and you always want to make sure you push off with the outside leg. Very important in this drill. It's also really, really great because for the, to improve dynamic stability because you're on one leg, you got to keep you got to stick the landing, control the body and push off to the other side and you have to do that again. Again, those are things that you would be doing on the tennis court. That's why it's really great to do it as a speed agility or um, speed ladder drills to emulate the movement patterns that you encounter on the tennis court. Okay, and that's basically it, right? Good. All right, guys, so that was it. There were a few um, exercises that we wanted to show you that you can do with the, uh, with the athletes. You can also do it um, before you actually do the training session as a dynamic warm-up if we prefer.
Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye. Well, that's it again for today's episode. As usual, opinions differ. What's your point of view? Let us know below in the comment section. A brand new episode will be available next Sunday. So make sure you don't miss it and subscribe. In the meantime, I recommend you watch some of the previous episodes. You should really watch them all. If you like what you saw, tell your friends. I'm sure they will appreciate it. I'm Philipp Halfmann. Thank you for watching and Auf Wiedersehen! Tennis Conditioning TV episodes are licensed under Creative Commons. You are welcome to link or embed these videos, forward them to others and share these ideas with people you know. Brought to you by Advanced Concepts of Strength and Conditioning for Tennis. Available at TennisConditioningBook.com Music by Dan O at DanOSongs.com Yeah.